Alrighty. <clears throat> it's the end of April, and I think it's a good time to do an early spring walkabout. Got some pretty pansies on the porch for for a filler until it's time. Let's see here. I'll come around here. The Korean Spice Viburnum has a lot of nice buds on it. So that's going to be smelling really good. And I just noticed that this Euonymus is doing quite nicely this year. Look how cool that looks. Going up the side of the porch there. I <laughs> love that. Okay. So, violets. I planted these hyacinths last year. Pink and orange combination in with the lamb's ear, which hasn't come up very good yet, but I love the pink and orange. And I like the little bleeding heart poking out there. That's good. <clears throat> and today I saw this little combination here that just pleases me to no end. Violets, euphorbia, and daffodils. I think that this just looks so cute. The tree peonies have a whack of buds. They are going to be gorgeous in a few weeks' time. Plus, look down in there. Look at all that new, new, new stuff. <laughs> They're happy there. <clears throat> Crab apple budding out. Maple budding out. The front looks a little desolate right now. The crasses always take a little longer to come in. Here we've got some nice grape hyacinths and some anemones. The anemones close up when it gets a little later, so I wish you could have seen those. They're cute. Very cute. Oh, that's over there. Okay. okay, so we'll come around back here. Sorry for the glare. Let's see what's happening. This berm takes a little while to warm up and start up too. Let's see here. Bleeding hearts are coming up nicely. There's the beginning of a hosta. See, they come up late too. This is a very early spring walkabout. Look at here. Here's some bleeding hearts getting ready there. The spirea is getting the teeny tiny leaves. This is an area I'm going to have to concentrate on. I think I need to do something with it. There's a lot of hostas in there, but right now it looks horrid. Okay. Fern leaf peony. Happy, happy. The Pagoda Dogwood has nice buds on it. We've got the Wild Ginger coming up a little bit. Some Lily of the Valley coming up here at the top of the pond. <clears throat> Hyacinth. 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 Love me some hyacinths. Look at these cute little species tulips. Aren't they just precious? They absolutely are. Now, look in here in the pond. Can you see? Can you see? One, two, three, four pairs of toadies. Just in that little spot. Happy Kiki. There goes the toadie singing. This is by far my favorite time of year when the toadies get all happy and singing. Can you hear how it echoes? There's one in the falls box right here. Or not the falls box, in the skimmer box. Okay. These tulips are something that I dug up in another part of the yard and got moved here. They have been here since before I moved in this house, which was 18 years ago. More hyacinths, hyacinths, hyacinths. Look at the colors. Pretty, pretty, pretty. There's some, uh, I forget what that's called, but it's nice and bright green. More hyacinths with the iron butterfly. Hyacinths. Now, so here's the garden area. Now, raspberries, black. That little white fence that you see beyond is the blueberry bush I just planted today. This little white fence, the two blackberry bushes I planted today. Let's see here. There's some daffodils. And some more hyacinths. And the grape arbors. I don't want to lift up too far. I don't want to blind you with the sun coming through. The brush pile. More hyacinths. Kitty cat. Booty booty booty. That's a booty. Yes. Take it a walk about. Okay, so here's something I'm very excited about out here. Okay, on that corner is a lilac from my great grandmother's house, ma'am's house. It's white. This bush is a lilac from my friend Skipper. It's that very classic purple. This bush is a dark, dark, dark purple one that I poached from an abandoned house. And this bush is supposed to be a yellow one. I've had it in for three years or so. And look, there's buds this year. We'll see. Uh, we'll find out if it is indeed yellow or not. 
some pulmonaria, my shadow, my poor dead walking, or Harry Lauder's walking stick, contorted filbert it could also be known as. Coming back towards the pond again here. Let's see what's going on now. Earlier there were toads all over. Everywhere you stepped there was a toad, so I gotta keep an eye out. Listen to him. Look at him. He means it, doesn't he? Listen to that. There's three or four pairs of toads in this little bit of wild, or, uh, iris also. That's a happy pond right there. That's a happy kitty right there. What are you doing, Baba? You're a hog. You're a camera hog. Okay, well, there's early, early, early spring here.